Merry Christmas, homies. It's actually not Christmas, it's February. But I do have this little Christmas ornament here to show you guys how this is gonna help you get better at this. What? That don't make any sense. An ornament and a jump rope? This guy, this little cue that this guy is gonna give you is gonna help you get your double unders. I know, I know it sounds a little bit weird, but that's the content you signed up for, so let's get it. You heard me, guys. We're gonna go over how to progress from singles to doubles because too many of you guys have spent too long on single unders. It's probably one of the more frustrating skills to actually learn because one, you get whipped in the booty way too much, but that's part of learning. And then two, it's kind of one of those skills where it's so simple, we try too hard, we're trying all these different things and just can't quite figure out your timing. Well, I'm here to simplify it for y'all. We're gonna get from singles to doubles with one simple cue. I want you guys to pretend like you're an ornament yourself and you got a little string attached to your head and when I pull up on that string, your body gets taller and longer. How we get from single unders to double unders is very, very simple, but we all know at this point, the simple things can be the most complicated things. Going from singles to doubles, the only thing that needs to change is the height of your jump. So I'll show you guys a few reps right off the top right here. Singles, doubles. Okay, that's simple. Now the tricky part of learning double unders is when I start changing the height of my jump, I have the tendency to do all of these other crazy things that ends up tripping me up. That cue of be an ornament or get your head taller to the ceiling is gonna help you maintain your posture and that is what our ultimate goal is, is to maintain your posture and then just focus on nice, consistent, tall bounds. As you get those taller, higher bounds, the rope will pass under your feet twice. When we start doing all this crazy like dolphin kicking or tough jumping or being hard on my feet and everything, my jump gets inconsistent all over the place and that's where you get all the trip ups and the whip marks that do not feel good. So posture is what we're focused on. On all of my jump roping, it's just your tall standing posture right here with your hands at your hips. Sometimes I think my wrist bones get glued to my hips right here. I tuck my elbows back, my chest is tall, my head is neutral. The best way to practice that is obviously just master your single unders. They're a nice light bound on the ball of your foot. My head is neutral. I'm jumping up pretty tall. When it comes to double unders, be an ornament. Pretend like you have a string attached to your head and you're getting pulled up each time you're trying to jump. So I'll start with my singles and then when I'm ready to start those double unders, I want to get taller. Notice my bound stays in that one spot. I'm on the ball of my foot and my feet feel really, really light. The tendency to change my posture or tuck or pike or do crazy things with my legs or even do like the scooting back out of the camera thing. Your posture is probably what's causing that. If I can stay tall and relax, I'm gonna be very consistent with where my feet are hitting every single time. So that's your cue, be an ornament. But here's some other tools you can use. Got a piece of chalk right here. Trap yourself in a circle. Draw a circle on the floor. This is your jumping zone. Don't leave your jumping zone, okay? My feet stay in that circle for singles, for doubles. Another great tool that usually helps a lot of athletes maintain their posture, this might be one of my favorite ones, is focusing on a spot in front of you in the wall. That helps you keep your head neutral. If you're looking down or maybe even looking up, Expect to be bouncing all over the place like a Mexican jumping bean. You don't look like that. You don't look like a Mexican jumping bean. If I'm standing right here, I pick a spot on the wall in front of me that's at eye level. I focus on that. My head stays where it needs to go. Okay, time to be an ornament and jump a little bit higher to make those double unders. For double under progressions, here's what you guys need to do. Write yourself a little bit of a ladder, like I'm gonna make one double under and stop and show control with the rope. Then when I get consistent with one double under, I'll go to two. Don't worry what the rope does. Do not worry what the rope does. If I do my jump correctly and just jump higher and land and not worry about the rope, did the rope pass under my feet twice? 
I think so. Be an ornament, or you'll hear me say, get taller. If you can get taller, your jump is gonna naturally get higher off the ground, and then that rope will be passing under your feet twice the way it needs to. Merry Christmas. I hope that was a nice little February Christmas present for you guys, and I hope you start crushing your double unders. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.